Every year, a train of Arab films takes the region by storm, showcasing talent from the Arab world. Now, this creative journey, which includes internationally renowned festivals from right here in the UAE, to Syria, Lebanon, Tunisia, Egypt, and Morocco, have been a long time coming. Since the release of its first Egyptian film in 1927, Leila, the Egyptian film industry has continued to develop enormously. By 1935, Cairo's Mr. Studios could rival its Hollywood counterparts in delivering exceptional variety and quality. Prior to Middle Eastern film festivals, the film industry was concentrated in Egypt, and in many ways, it still continues to be. Egyptian cinema has been a cultural benchmark for the Arab world and for aspiring actors. To date, Cairo still remains a rite of passage leading to stardom in the Middle East. With a flourishing film industry in Egypt, a need for film festivals arose and attempts to create film festivals in Damascus and Beirut aspired throughout the 1950s and 60s. Although the projects never lasted for long, it was until the mid-60s a Tunisian festival called Carthage Film Festival was launched. A decade later, the Damascus International Film Festival also established itself in the region. The third oldest Arab film festival, the Cairo International Film Festival, has always retained its momentum. And although it paved the way for many other festivals from the region, it still cannot be compared to its golf counterparts, who have a far greater budget with a dynamic vision. Throughout the 1980s and the start of the 90s, the Arab world welcomed new festivals, including the Alexandria Festival of the Cinema of the Mediterranean, Beirut Days Film Festival, including the ones in Morocco, the Tangier Short Film Festival, and the Khuribja African Cinema Festival. In 2001, the UAE put together the first film festival, called by the name of Emirates Film Competition. This later paved the way to many film festivals within the UAE, like the Dubai International Film Festival in 2004, Abu Dhabi Film Festival in 2007, and Golf Film Festival in 2008. With the rise of festivals in the region, UAE's neighboring country, Qatar, launched the Doha Tribeca Film Festival in 2009, followed by other GCC countries kickstarting their own festivals in Muscat and Jeddah. Now, cinema is one of the best ambassadors for the region and one of the most powerful ways of breaking the barrier of stereotype and geography. Film festivals are a showcase, not only for the Arab film creative, but also a gateway to the world to bring the best in cinematic excellence to viewer right here in this region. The UAE has shown exceptional initiative and in a few short years has raced into the top echelons of the film festival genre attracting cinema from the Arab world, from Bollywood and Hollywood in equal measure to create a global entity that brings together leading talent, profound artistry, and the glamour of celebrities under one roof. For instance, the iconic Slumdog Millionaire that went on to sweep the Oscars was first screened in Dubai. Tom Cruise star Mission Impossible 4 Ghost Protocol was not only filmed in Dubai, but also had its world premiere at the Dubai International Film Festival. The UAE festivals may not be Cannes yet, but it has all the elements to be right up there with the best of them. And as more of the industry gravitates to this country each year, the film week will grow in stature. And who knows, the UAE could one day be the venue for the first international Oscar Awards presentation. In the UAE, even my good friend Tom Cruise would say, no mission is impossible. You're not helping. Ready? We're a mile and a half above the Earth, on <laughs> the tallest building on the planet, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. And we're filming a scene where Tom Cruise is climbing on the outside of the building. OK, Tom, we're ready to go. Stepping out, guys. This is just another day at work on Mission Impossible. Tom, we're just going to do another one. 